Hey, what is going on, everybody? Thanks for tuning in for the 2024 Legends of the Lake. We've got round two, front nine coverage. We're coming at you at Zephyr Cove Disc Golf Course, just down the road from Bijou, about 20 minutes away. Um, we've got myself, Spanky Edwards, yeah. and our special guest, Dave Salazar, in the booth again. Patty. Thanks so Patty. much for joining us. <laughs> Steve, and- Steve Ridge. Thanks for the, the catch cam. Again, this is uh, presented by Innova. So, new lead card today. We've got Tristan Cook. He was uh, 14 under after round one. Ryan Bain, 14 under after round one. So, these two are Mm -hmm. coming in with the lead score here. Uh, Ryan Jewell is going to be 13 under. Only one back off the lead. And then Jaden Chesham is going to be 11 under. Oh, sorry. Court. Card of five now. So Nate's here as well at 11 yeah. down. This is only 18 holes, so we're playing cards of five instead of cards of four. So uh, we got a 14 down, 13, two 14 downs, 13, and two 11s. Yeah. All yep. right. Yeah. Yeah. Very excited. Um, Nate's kind of the only one that I'm aware of on this card, but, you know, he's the South Lake local. Anyway, these guys are starting on hole one. We've got a par three, 234 feet, a little uphill. Uh, it's right there in front of you. It's in the A position. A very, very attackable pin position. Just like oh, that. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Dog. All right. This is Ryan Bain. I believe he's semi- local, right? Ryan Bain is from State Line. Yeah. yeah. Hi, Ryan. Yeah, everybody's trying to lick their chops on this first hole, for sure. Yeah, it's almost like hard. It's the first hole of the day. <laughs> if you don't get it, you're like, darn it. <laughs> <laughs> if you've never played Zephyr, this is Nate Tolman, sponsored by Premium Disc Golf. And he's going to hit uh, third available, but he's he's done this before. I think he's going to be all right. Yeah, the, the, yeah, yeah like I said... <laughs> I would say Zephyr, Zephyr is one of those courses. It's going to start off very uphill. It's going to be uphill for a while. I think about nine holes. I think four, you get a little respite but uh, on hole four. But besides that, it's, it's uphill most of the, all the way. Right. And hole one being in the A position is like, the, it's your chance for a birdie. Yeah. <laughs> These guys have a little more distance than you and I. Sure, sure. So they're looking at birdie on almost every hole, but... They know, they know that this is the only gimme out there. The other ones are going to have to work really hard at. Yeah, so this is their second round of the day. So coming from Bijou, this is a completely different animal like we talked about before. I mean, Zephyr is a mountain course. Very hilly, lots of manzanita bushes. Um, I'm going to say just, you know, a step up in difficulty. Being Bijou has about two holes with elevation change, and Zephyr, every single hole has <laughs> elevation change. So. Honestly, one of my favorites. Anyway, good start. Th- yeah, uh, yep. Three birdies, two pars. <clears throat> We're going in hole two. Uh, 288 feet uphill, quite a bit uphill. That's a very common landing zone for the forehand. Even the back end, honestly. The back end is the scarier one that can get away from you if you don't get turned, it's just like this. this. It kind of kick you so far down the hill. It almost feels like you didn't get it. You didn't make any ground on the hole. Yeah, it ends up towards. Uh, there's some tennis courts down there that you can see there. That's what you want to do. Yeah, that's a, a nice, nice toss. Nice width there. Yeah. Oh, look at this. That slid right up into the wow. circle into those bushes. A straight shot. It's going to hyzer slowly over. Oh, wow. Oh, Nate, scaring the chains. Wow, these guys are playing aggressive. Oh, yeah, they really, really are. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like every shot is going for a make. I'm not worthy. Oh, no. Stay. So there's a real roll away potential, you guys, on this hole. Um, luckily, his sat down there, so we're not even going to talk about it. But yeah, incredibly steep. Very, very, very easy for these discs to roll away. So, 
That's a Ryan and Jaden. Quick birdies. It looks like Nate's tapping one in, too. Uh, don't. There you go. That is one of the easiest birdies I've seen on this hole. Yeah, no doubt. So Tristan's going to take his par. And I believe Ryan Bain is about to as well. So hole three's coming up, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. We're having fun here, folks. All right, hole three, uh, 267. What do you know? Uphill. Uh, <laughs> there's the straight added approach like that, or there's a hyzer line out to the right side. There is a forehand line on the left or up the middle, but I think a lot of these guys are going to be going right up the middle at it. Or that's the hyzer yeah. line. So it, it's, it's in the A position as well. Um, which is the much more attackable of the two. At the B position, I've only seen a handful of people be able to reach it. So, well, it looks like Nate's got a good. Uh, I think he's about a pin high. Uh, Tristan go with the forehand. He's going to leak a little out to the right. I think he's still going to have a putt from uh, forty or fifty. Dave, you're gonna see this round. Tristan has a monster forehand. Oh, I've never, yeah, I've never seen him on coverage, personally. So you saw what Ryan did there. You, if you hit those early trees, it's you're scrambling. You're in full scramble mode for you're, sure. You're behind the green monster. <laughs> <laughs> Stop scaring me, Spank. A nice smooth putt. Yeah. Nate Tolman with his second birdie in a row. Man. And Ryan's running the jewels. Yeah, three through three. Great start. Wow. If you've ever played here, you'll notice that these manzanita bushes are everywhere and they will get in your way eventually. I mean, you can be tucked just two inches into them and almost have no footing. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's, it's crazy. Welcome to Zephyr. So we got <laughs> Ryan Jewell, the chop forehand. This is, for me, the preferred play. Yes. Yeah, I think it's the best way to get there unless you hit those trees. But I think it's the best way to park the hole because the backhand, if you get a nice spicy line at it, you can skip towards the road. Where's the like forehand? This. Yeah, the forehand comes Unless, into oh, the hillside. This is actually staying. Right. Oh, That's wow. a good landing yeah, zone. Yeah, that was great. I thought it was going to uh, flare out. Yeah, yeah. Nate going with the forehand. It's going to hook up a little too early for him. That's, well, who knows? He's a great putter. Yeah, he's there. He's probably running it, but it's such a layup territory there because... It slopes so steep away from the basket that if you're oh. running and airballing, you're 50 feet down the hill. Yeah. So we'll see what he does. I think he was playing old man golf there, so he just wanted to be in the shade. <laughs> yeah, because he's so old. Ryan's going to leak out a little bit. He's in danger of going to the road. I think he's going to be. He got all caught right. up in those rocks Nitty? in that okay. bush, yeah. Good, good. So this, uh, from that approach, you guys, you can see where it slopes from the basket. When you're looking at it from right to left, downhill, a lot of rollaway potential, but it doesn't happen there, thankfully. Yeah, Nate just smartly laying up from there. Mm -hmm. Kind of had a feeling that might be the case. Whereas being down here, you actually get the, you know, the green light to run it. You don't want to hit the cage and roll, <laughs> but <laughs> at least you're not going to airball long. Like, I've done it. I've done it. Oh. oh, thankfully that was flat. It's a really cool hole, actually. You know, you get, oh, great. Again, you get a little respite from the uphill for the first three holes. Um, it's a beauty of a hole, aesthetically. Yeah, he's throwing over a pretty steep ravine, actually. Yeah. It's almost a flat shot, but it, there's a lot going on in between the teapot and the basket. A whole lot of real estate. We see any birds? No, no. no. I think we're uh, par frame here. Yeah. Five pars. 
Yep. Surprising to see Ryan's first par on four and not do anything. <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, here we go, guys. Hole five, uh, 300 feet, playing like a million. Yep. <laughs> it's very far uphill. Kajillion. And it's actually playing in the harder of the two pin positions. This is in the deep, correct? Yeah, in yeah. the B position. And it's there's like two different ways to play it. That's the best way to play it. It's just a mash of a righty backhand hyzer that moves pretty far left and up the hill. Yep. That was almost the other way to play it. Yeah, I think he's going to be okay there. Like I He so. got far up far enough where the trees aren't going to obstruct him too much. We got a okay. monster here. Forehand from Tristan. I'm telling you. Wow. Bombs. So he's going to be able to run that putt pretty, pretty good, actually. Yeah, he should be unobstructed and just looking right uphill at it. See, I don't mind being here because of this open gap that you have. Now Ryan with a similar, similar look. Everybody kind of just <laughs> is in the softest forehand in the it world. It is a scary green. Like a lot of greens at Zephyr. Yeah. All right, Tristan, last one chance for a birdie. Nice. High fly ball, center field. That's a nice two to take down. These guys are going to just tap out with their pars. Give me an example. There was three... Oh, sorry, there was... Three birdies and two bogeys on that hole, and the rest are par. Wow. But only three birdies. It's not an easy get. Look like Nate's looking thirsty there. He's got two beverages in his hands. <laughs> All right, you guys, hole six, par three, 315 feet. Guess what? Uphill. <laughs> oh, he caught that last tree. I think without that tree, he's kind of gone. He's gone all the way, if not long. Is this in the long left? This is this that traditional oh, the tradi oh, center, center yep, cut. Yep, yep. Never mind. Yep. The A position. The A position. And hats off to the volunteers out here at Zephyr Cove. These guys uh, worked on these tee pads quite a bit. I mean, all in, summer in the, long, really. The, yeah, in the weeks uh, leading up to this. So they flattened them out and leveled them out a bit. Um, they're looking better than they have in a long, long time. A lot of them used to play like uphill. Yes. So now they're actually level. They got nice new borders. This one, they put those uh, those concrete uh, pavers, pavers yep. behind and gave you an extra foot and a half to two feet of run up. It's nice. Yeah, just a little, a little bit of touch of class. Good effort there from yep. Nate. This is a basket you can actually run pretty hard from deep because there's pretty tall bushes behind it. Yeah, there's, it's, it's basically a mini backstop. Yeah, especially with just a jump putt, you know. Ooh. That's a very good bid. All right, Ryan Bain here. He gave it a bid. Looks like Nate's looking at his par there. Not a surprise to see a bunch of pars on this one. This... How many birdies did you get? Did we get here? Surprisingly, one less than hole five. There was only two birdies on six. You don't say. I wouldn't have guessed that. I would have guessed there would be more birdies uh, on six than five. Wow. Yeah. Interesting. It just shows how how far it does play uphill, and then even the if you have an incredible shot, those those late trees can just swat you down and leave you at eighty feet. You know, yeah. hundred feet. So let's not forget these these uh, these people have been playing twenty seven holes already. This is true. This is their second round. Here we go, guys. Hole seven, par three, two ninety. This one only has one pin position, so it's always playing right here. One of my favorites. Yeah, you got to miss that cabbage there. I think the forehand is the preferred play for most. Uh, obviously, if you don't have it, the backhand turnover. Guilty. Yeah. But oh. you're just pushing something flat and straight with That's a strong good. finish. Wow. Rewind and watch that again. That's how you do it. Mm-hmm. Be kind. Rewind. So another one's going to leak a little to the right, but... Oh, 
deep. Wow. But only my <laughs> <God's end. laughs> It's awesome, actually. It's awesome. Nate making that look really easy. Yeah, aiming for that tree, and he's going to be parkade. I juked me there. I thought that was his throw. Oh. <laughs> Another very easy, effortless forehand. I'll tell you what, they kind of dissected this one pretty well. Yeah. Stay. Oh, yeah, Stay. Oh, no. Good boy. <laughs> All right, let's see if Ryan can convert here. Looks like done and done. State line. <laughs> he says it's in the basket. <laughs> That's right. So Ryan, Ryan's scorecard almost look, looks like what you're hoping for. <laughs> if you, uh, for you know, an average player. For the, yeah, yeah. us mortals. Yeah, for yeah. us mortals. You want to get one, and then you want to start on seven, getting birdies again. Yeah. And that stretch in between, par is fine for me. I agree. But, you know, these guys want a little more. They, they do have... Oh, they've know. got that extra distance that we don't have, and they're yeah. phenomenal putters. Um, hole eight, another hole. Just has the one posi pin position for now. There's a couple more going in. But uh, par three, two sixteen, and that's uh, and there's that roll away we were talking about. Oh. <clears throat> Hole eight's beautiful. Um, the green is surrounded by trees and a couple of boulders that are in the dirt, so it, it makes for an, a beautiful hole. And yeah, he parks it right there. Yeah, he's gonna have an easy, hopefully an easy uphill putt. It's also like your first real glimpse of the water. If you look behind you, you're like, oh, there it is. It's going to be a little downhill to the left. I'm not going to hate it, but. Uh, I think we started that one. And oh my gosh, that roll. I'm going to say these bushes are good for these guys right now. Catching them up <laughs> yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder if that's too wide. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It happens on this hole. Stay. I was going to say it's maybe steeper than it looks, but it's pretty steep. I mean, <laughs> you can actually see. You can <laughs> actually see how steep it is. The basket's above his head, and he's just outside the circle. Yeah. <laughs> and these guys are eight feet tall. I don't know if you know that, but <laughs> let's see. There it is. Great putt. You go, Ryan. And Beautiful. look at that. He's still perfect on the um, yeah. the mortal score. Yeah, the mortal one, <laughs> seven, eight. <laughs> it's a game day. Yeah, he's going to leave that one just a, a little bit shy. Looks like there's a little wind. There's usually a little bit of a breeze once you get up here to the you know eight and nine. Even if it's a pretty calm day, there's a slight movement of the flag. <clears throat> and like you said, you can finally see the lake in the background. And up there on the west and north shore. What a gentleman, Nate. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we're going to go fairly steep uphill to hole nine. Uh, one of the most beautiful holes in all of Tahoe. Just look at that. Throwing out over 246 feet, very downhill. Uh, this is an ace run wow. no matter which way you look at it. A lot of backhand hyzers out to the right. Forehands just inside or outside of that tree on the left. The key is don't go too long and don't go left. It is a almost a cliff on the wow. left side. Not exactly a cliff, but you don't want to be left. Those are two good shots there. Let's see what the, the third does here. And it's pretty great. And it's right there. <laughs> I'd venture to say this is one of the most beautiful holes in disc golf. I agree. Not just in... Nevada or California, but it's awesome. Especially because you play some some huge, like some downhills that are beautiful, but then you've got to throw it like a thousand feet. Sure. This one you just get to enjoy a nice little putter shot. Mm hmm. Enjoy the view and, you know, ace run something. Actually go for that glory shot instead of, oh, I hope I get my four on a par five. Yeah. You know, it's just a beautiful hole and you hopefully get your birdie every time. I'm going to go ahead and say that nobody is not going for an ace. You're, you're running the hole. ace every time. Every single time. Every single time. I'm just enjoying the view here, to be honest with you. Yeah. 
It's hard to see what these guys are even doing. I'm just yeah. looking at the lake. Oh, birdie, sweet. Oh, birdie, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling we're gonna see a star frame. Uh, yeah. Yeah, there's another one. <laughs> there's another one. I can see the last two on the ground, and they're pretty <laughs> close. <laughs> I've never missed from that close. No? No. <laughs> you? I'm lying. I know. Fantastic. Oh, pretty Fantastic. exciting. Pretty exciting front nine. A lot of pretty good scores, honestly. Yeah. Um, I think five five down on the front nine is dreamy really yeah that's you couldn't hope for much more to be honest so with you got andrew mcgill at seven through nine which wow he's the only one everybody else five is the best so he, yeah he's having a phenomenal he's having round. a phenomenal front yeah. front nine there um but yeah ryan bain ryan jewel they're at 18 wow andrew mcgill with that seven comes all the way back to second place through nine that's pretty pretty incredible hot diggity dog wow hey guys thanks for joining us for the front nine yeah. Um, we're going to turn it right around. We're going to get the back nine done for you guys. So it should be out right after this. Again, thanks for joining us and we'll see you on the back.